Greetings and welcome to the 14th installment of the World Numismatic News' Lincoln Penny Varieties You Should Know. In this series, I shine a light on some of the better and lesser known Lincoln scent varieties that every coin collector and coin roll hunter should be aware of. To get the ball rolling, we head back to the Lincoln Penny's debut year. The 1909 S over S variety may not be as popular as the S over horizontal S variety, despite this being the significantly scarcer of the two. The repunched mint mark is visible southwest of the initial impression and displays a prime example of a repunched mint mark variety in the earlier die states. But in a later die state, the two mint marks tend to bleed into one another, making it more difficult to spot. In 2017, an Anarchs graded MS65 red brown coin of this variety was sold for $763 at auction. Another very interesting repunched mint mark variety is the 1959 D over D over D triple punched mint mark coin. This coin may upon first glance appear only to be a standard repunched mint mark, but closer examination reveals that an initial, albeit Faint D was punched to the west of the final impression, followed by a much stronger second D, which can be seen slightly to the southwest. With the final D resting on top of and in between the two, in 2017, a PCGS graded coin with a grade of MS65 red was sold at auction for $141. The final coin to discuss today is a bit of a special case. The 1974 aluminium Lincoln Penny is technically a major variety, although there is a school of thought that attributes the coin as a pattern strike instead. In the early 1970s, along with most commodities, the price of copper was escalating fast. To combat the rising cost of production, the mint was looking for alternatives, and the aluminium penny seemed, at least for a while, to be the answer. In total, nearly 1.6 million such coins were minted. About 40 or so were distributed to high-ranking government officials and members of Congress. When the price of copper fell, however, these plans were scrapped and all coins were ordered returned and melted. Only problem is that not all of them were, and it is estimated that somewhere between 5 and 16, but probably around 14 of these coins were never returned to the mint, and may still be floating around out there somewhere. Now, the Mint does consider these coins to be illegal to own privately, similar to the 1933 Double Eagle coins, which is why the only known Denver-minted coin of its type was surrendered to the Mint after a legal battle in 2016. The coin is estimated to be worth as much as $2 million on the open market. Only two other examples are known. The Philadelphia-minted Toven example graded initially by ICG at AU58, and then again by PCGS at MS62, and another coin held in permanent exhibition at the Smithsonian. Would you consider the 1974 aluminium coins as varieties, patterns, or perhaps something else entirely? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to stay subscribed to WNN and activate notifications when you do, never to miss an episode of Lincoln Penny Varieties You Should Know. For the World Numismatic News, I am Numisman saying thank you for watching, keep collecting, and have a great day.